do you know how to leverage this JIRA feature for optimal project management? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. In this video, we'll learn about Teams in JIRA. And no, this has nothing to do with Microsoft Teams. A great way to think of the Teams feature is kind of like the Your Work page here in JIRA, except just like the name implies, instead of being items related to just one user, it's designed for multiple users. So the things that we'll see on it will be a little bit different. So let's create our first team. Let's come up to Teams and create a team. Now we need to give this a name. So let's say this is maybe our strategy team. And then who should be on this team? Let's add in some users we've worked with before. Say Valerie and Ethan, add them in. And then if we want anyone in our organization to be able to join this team immediately and without approval, we can check this, or we can just go ahead and create our team. And then we can view it here or up here in the top dropdown. It will show up here once it's created. Let's refresh the page. Sometimes it takes a little second, I've noticed, for the team to show up. And if it still isn't, we can come in here and search for it. So let's search for our strategy team. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so like I said, sometimes it takes a, a moment after creation for the team to actually show up in the dropdown, but you should see it up here in your teams once it's created. So this is a team in Jira. And now you'll see why I compared it to the Your Work page because it's a feed of things associated with members of our team. And if some of these things look familiar, it's because we've already talked about a lot of them with one major caveat that we'll find as we go through these. So starting here at the top, we have some straightforward concepts with a feed of our team's activity, as well as any issues assigned to our team, just like it says here in the interface. Beneath that, we have our components. Now we've already talked about components, which you can see here in the team as well. And you can do some things from the team page, like assigning ownership of the component, but that brings up a really great point about components in teams. As we learned a few videos ago, there are actually two different types of components. We learned about Jira components because they're built into Jira, but we also learned about a paid add-on called Compass Components, and that is the components that are connected to Teams. So that's just something to keep in mind since Compass is not included in Jira's base license. Then moving down the page, we have help. So the idea with the help link here is for people in our organization, other people in our organization outside of our team who can see our team page to be able to get help from members of the team. Think of it kind of like a, a very light version of an internal help desk type process, except it's not really built into the team page. We can just link to where it is. So if we wanted to add in a help link, we could say maybe the knowledge base articles, let's Go to supports at Atlassian.com. And this is Atlassian's supports. There we go. Add this in. And we can see that now we have added in a help link down here. Again, it, sometimes it takes a second for these things to show up. Let me refresh the page here. There we go. So now we have the help link showing up. And speaking of links down here at the bottom, we can also add in other links as well. So let's come in and just to sh show how they're different. Atlassian.com. This is, I'm going to do the exact same one so we can see. There we go. So we've added in this link and we can see how they're a little bit different. And with this quick example, we can see how the links differ from the links above, but the functionality has a lot of overlap. The way it's displayed here can help us organize the links differently. Again, think of this as somebody coming from outside of our team to this kind of a, a landing page for our team and wanting to get help. We can organize things a little bit differently. Now you'll notice that I skipped over kudos. So let's go back to those because we'll notice them on the left side over here as well, where we can come in and add people to our team. We can get rid of uh, people from our team. We can leave the team, delete the team or come back into the team settings and change the name if we want. All of those things are, are pretty straightforward. So let's look at kudos. With kudos, they are basically what Jira is telling us right here. It's a way of celebrating others, which is really cool, I think, to be able to offer that kind of positivity here in Jira. Well, sort of in Jira, <laughs> because that brings me to the major caveat that I mentioned earlier. Remember when we learned about goals and how they're actually outside of Jira in a place called Atlassian Home? Well, a lot of what we have here in Teams can tie into Atlassian Home also. 
let me show you what I mean. So now I'm logged in as my global Jira admin. And if we come into Teams, let's search for the Teams and find our strategy team. There we go. And this is coming at it from somebody who is not a member of the team. We can come in here and see what it looks like. Again, kind of a landing page for all of these things. And we can give kudos to members of this team. So let's give kudos here. And let's say, thanks, hard work. Uh, we can even personalize this, uh, you know, adding something in. There we go. We can add a link if we want. So we can find things specifically. So either in Atlassian Home, Jira, or Confluence, if you have a Confluence license. So we can say, let's find one of the growth, the growth project. There we go. Give kudos. And now you can see it's been sent. And we can view them here. And this is something I've noticed, actually. I think this is a bug in Jira where it sends us to this kind of blank page. But here in Atlassian Home, again, we can search for all of the teams, find our strategy team. And then in here, you'll notice that we're in Atlassian Home because the top menu is different, but it looks very similar, right? And then down here, we can see the kudos that has been sent. But it's not only here on the actual team page either. So if we open this up, we can see the actual kudos. We can uh, react to it if we want to. Anybody can do that on the team. And if we go into one of the members of that team and go to their actual profile, we can see all the kudos that they've received on their profile as well. So as we can see, kudos are a fun way to, well, give kudos <laughs> to other members of our organization. To recap what we've learned in this video, we learned how to create a team in Jira and navigate its interface. And you'll notice throughout all of this, even though teams connect to entities in our company managed projects, like we could see the issues and we could see the projects themselves, teams are independent of those projects. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you wanna learn next.